so today I will be making new currants for our camper and I'm gonna show you step by step on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Hopefully they'll come out pretty. Let's see. I have set up everything outside. I have my sewing machine. I have the curtains that the RV originally came with. I have this which folder which I'll be using as a as a ruler. Obviously to measure scissors, pencil. I always have a piece of fabric to test it. And these are the fabrics that we've chosen. It's a turquoise for the inside. And then the one that'll be facing outside will be this one, which basically blocks the sun. So let's get started. So I had to come inside. It was way too hot outside. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, yeah. First we're gonna measure the size that I have for the curtain with my lovely. and then we're just gonna get straight to cutting. So let's do this. Now the part that I am most scared about, which is cutting because I'm a little clumsy. Hopefully it'll come out right. So now I'm gonna cut this fabric. I could have done it at the beginning, like I could have cut both of them at the same time, but I'm a scary cut, so I'm just gonna cut it now. I'm gonna trace it again. This is double the work for me, but you don't have to do this, of course. This is gonna be the part that's gonna be facing the window, and this is gonna be facing us inside the RV. <laughs> At the beginning of the video, I did show that I was going to be using this color, but that was because I couldn't find my sewing essentials kit. But I just found it. I'm so excited. And I'm going to be picking most likely white. How do you put in this? I think I'm going to use, I don't know, maybe just white. I might just use white or the turquoise. Yeah. I'm gonna be using white. And I'm so excited because this one really didn't look good, so. Thank you, Jesus. If you know how to sew, you can just fast forward this part, but basically I'm gonna show you how to get some thread in here before starting to sew. So you will put this right here. You want to get it as thick as possible. You grab this and you pull it through there and you bring it here. And now you have to put this in here. So, you simply, you put it in like it goes and you close it. This part is easy, it also even has numbers, so at least this, this sewing machine does. Like you can see right there, one, two, etc. So now we bring it through here, here, and there. And now we have to take the one that we inserted before under. It has to come out through here as well. So basically we just put the needle down 
and we start pulling with this one. So now we have two strings. I am going to cut them a little bit and we put these two strings to the back. And we're ready. First, I like to test it. I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna get sewing. I'm very happy with the results. I even like the style. So I am going to start with my curtain. So, um, it's already finished, the first little part. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? But now I'm going to sew the part, this part here, where the stick goes in through. So basically I'm just gonna leave like a little hole for the, hold the curtain holder to go in. So let's see how it turns out. I had the idea of bringing this old curtain stick, I don't know if that's what you call it, to have it as an example to better measure where I wanna sew. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I did this little setup with my old curtain stick. I really need to find out what it is called. And now I'm going to sew. I put it to test. So far, so great. Oh my God, I wanna cry. So now we are getting ready to sew the sides of the curtain. So now that I finished sewing it, I'm just gonna cut like here, everything that is left over from the part where I sewed. Woo. Right now we are cutting right where our stitching is. We are cutting all the leftovers. We are going to put up the curtain. 